Hello everybody, today we are looking at Amiga Game Selector, but as you may kind of see, we're in the world of Linux. And what I want to do today is show you how to use Amiga Game Selector uh, with FSUAE and in a Linux environment. Now the laptop I've got is a Lenovo ThinkPad uh, T530. So it's a little bit old, but it's a great little laptop um, to play around with Linux and install some Amiga emulators on them. If you haven't seen my previous videos, Amiga Game Selector has a massive library of Amiga games, but go check out that video. This one, we're just going to be looking at how to install it on Linux. So what have I done so far? So what we can do is go to Downloads, and then I recommend going to the HTTP link, and then you download uh, the AGS UAE uh, Torrent, and or the, you can go to the folder and start downloading the RAR file there. What do you need as well? Well, you need an Amiga emulator and we're using FSUAE. Now, I'm using uh, Linux Mint for today, but uh, basically you need to get to a stage where you've got FSUAE installed on your Linux device of some kind. It's, it's supported on Ubuntu, Fedora, so many flavors of Linux. So yeah, follow those instructions and hopefully get to a stage where you've got FSUAE. So let's make sure that FSUAE is working. So we go to administration, FSUAE launcher, and yep, yeah, it loads up fine. Uh, it's a clean slate, so there's nothing uh, configured on here at all, no kickstart ROMs. Um, don't worry, you, you can have a already existing installation FSUAE, and what we're going to do is, be doing is adding to what uh, you got already. So let's uh, go to that download. So I've downloaded that RAR file. Now, I'll give you a warning, so like this, uh, this video has taken a long time to make and it's, I'm really frustrated by it. And it was literally just extracting that RAR file. Um, so I want to warn you, just in case uh, you get this problem, same as me, um, I've extracted it in Windows in the end and it took forever in Windows as well, literally half an hour to extract this. And I haven't got a slow machine, it's a very fast machine. Um, but there's something weird about this zip file. Um, and basically in WinOEE, AGS, these hard drive files in here, uh, you're expecting uh, about 12 gig and for games, about four gig. Now I've seen sizes of like 50, 60 gig, um, which was totally wrong. Um, so yeah, in extracting this, um, it was really weird, but hopefully it's all working now. So anyway, we got our downloads folder. We've extracted the AGS UAE folder. How are we going to convert this to be FSUAE compatible? So what we need to do is we need to go into the WinUAE folder. We need to select that AGS underscore UAE folder. And we need to select as well the... Uh, just that folder, yeah, just that folder. And then we do cut. And then I go to my documents. Actually, I'm going to close FSUAE. So I'll go to my documents, FSUAE, and within this folder just here, paste. So then you've got the AGS underscore UAE folder within there. And then you've got your hard drive files in there. Make sure it's in that location because it just makes things a whole lot easier going forward. So let's go to Downloads again, AGS UAE. Now we've got this AGS FS UAE zip. I'm just going to extract this. Hopefully this doesn't take 500 years. Nope, that's much better. So you've got now this AGS FS UAE folder. If we have a look in there, we've got loads of folders within here. The ones that we are interested in is configurations, select that and kickstart. Then copy, go 
back to your downloads, uh, go back to your documents even, FSUAE, and then paste it into there. It will complain saying, oh, merge folder, then yes, apply this action, and then merge. Brilliant, so that's done. So what we should be able to do now is go back into FSUAE launch it, launcher, let's load it up, and there we go, we've got a configuration set up there. So let's just select it, and when you select it, you should see settings for hard drives there. And as well, just make sure, yeah, graphics card as well. Uh, RAM wise, eight megabytes, and yeah, it, it's carried all of those over. One thing we can do as well, let's just point it to the kickstart. So that's under the, uh, the chip icon and then that kickstart there just go select that so that's all done there and then let's hit start and hopefully this should all work it's looking good so far now I've pressed alt and enter so that it just centers the screen and looks a bit better and there we go got the music in the background but we've got AGS so we can choose whatever game we want maybe I want pinball dreams because that's one of my favorite games there we go select it and then we can see that it's then loading up the game brilliant stuff now to get out of it press F12 And then we close it in the corner there. And that is FSUAE. Now that's going out of the emulator. Um, let's just jump back into it again because there's a couple of configs that I'd recommend that we do. So I do Alt and Enter again just to center uh, the display. There we go. And then what I recommend doing is going down to options, go to WHD load options, and the quick key, my quick key, I'm choosing F10. Setting the quick key to F10, there we go, that's all done. So now we can go escape. And then we've got this brilliant Amiga, um, set up so we've got dopus so you can do file transfer so if you want to add any more games but uh, there's loads of um, programs in here as well um, you've got deluxe paint um, this amazing environment that you know this is all working in Linux and using FSUAE if you do need to get into AGS, you've got the icon at the bottom, just click on that and you're back into the menu again. So what does that F10 uh, key that we just set do? Well, if I pick a game, I don't know, let's, uh, let's choose Garfield. Choose Garfield, wait for that to load up. And then basically once we're finished with the game and we want to quit the game, then you just press F10 to quit the game. There we go, it's loaded up, F10, there we go. And that should take us back to the menu. If it doesn't, then you just hit the menu again, there we go. So that's Amiga Game Selector, and that's in uh, Linux, so using FSUAE. Hopefully those instructions are nice and easy for you. Um, but yeah, the main trouble and the headache that I had was literally extracting this file. I could not believe how difficult that was. But um, yeah, from your downloads, you don't need too much um, stuff out of this. You don't, out, or you don't need the rest of the WinUAE stuff. But uh, yeah, the structure you need is your FSUE folder. You've got that AGS underscore UAE that's got your hard drives in there. Make sure that that folder's just there. Uh, we copied over configurations and we copied over kickstarts. And as you can see, it worked brilliantly. 
thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this and it was useful give it a like give it a sub and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching